The sky is falling. The sky is falling. Well, at least the stock market is. Is it game over for the bulls? Find out next on Invest with Jacob. Okay, guys, so in yesterday's video, we talked about the B-Wave potential and their need to push over 4,600 to make that more likely. They were unable to do so, and the market absolutely collapsed from the highs into the close and overnight, dropping 170 points so far. Now everyone is screaming from the rooftops that the bear market is here and the bull market is over. I'm going to borrow a line from Lee Corso on College Game Day and say, not so fast, my friends. I'll get into all that in just one second. But first, if you're new here, welcome to the show, guys. My name is Jacob Gabbard, and this is Invest with Jacob, where we use Elliott Wave Theory to break down the S&P 500. I highly encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below so you can get our daily S&P updates, our trade setups, and our buy alerts. Okay, guys, with this huge drop, everyone is saying that the bear market is here. Inflation, China, Russia, all these different things are happening, and we can't get back to the bull market. And I say not so fast. If you've been watching this channel, you know that we've been talking about this potential and this move down to the 4440 to 4300 region for quite some time. This wave four has been expected and is not out of the ordinary for this bull market. So let's jump into the charts and take a look. Okay, guys, here we are on the daily futures chart, okay? And this is the big picture. And when things like this happen, when you get a crash scenario, all right, you need to zoom out and look at the market and take a deep breath and say, was this expected? And as you'll see when we go through this, it's absolutely expected. Okay, so if we look at the COVID low, all right, off of the COVID low, you have one, two, and then you have your one, two setup. So you got a one, two, one, two, really great trading setup. And then we broke up through the pivot. And if you've been watching this channel for any amount of time, you know how important the pivot is. And the pivot is the 618 and 764 extensions of wave one and two. So this major market pivot Okay, we break through it on the way up, and then we expect to come back and test it for wave four. So that's exactly what's happening right now. We completed wave three up, okay, and we came up a little bit short of the target. Not ideal, but certainly nothing out of the ordinary there. And now we're starting wave four down, which is also nothing out of the ordinary. I've been calling for 4440 to 4350 for quite some time, and now we are approaching those levels. We broke through 4440, and if you watched the video either yesterday or the day before, I mentioned that because we did not get up to the 1236 as I expected, we would probably test the lower end of that range in the 4300 to 4350 area. And that looks like what they may try to do here. So when you zoom out and take a look at this, there's absolutely nothing bearish about it in the big picture. Now, in the short term, is it very bearish? Absolutely. It's a big wave four. But if you go back to this wave four over here, if you'll remember the COVID lows, okay, when everyone was saying that COVID was here, the market was over, everything is done, we're going to a thousand, all of those things, Elliott Wave was calling for this move that you see here. We were calling for 4,000, anyone who was doing good Elliott Wave analysis, okay? And we are well over that 4,000 area now, and we were looking for 4,947 as our target, but didn't quite get there. But we did get to 4808, which I think from this call down here is pretty darn solid. So as we're tracking this up, we are seeing nothing out of the ordinary. Wave 4 could go as low as the 4,076 area and still be bullish. Now, I do not expect it to come down here. I actually don't expect it to come below the 764. Um, if it does, I'll start to get a little worried as we get into the pivot. But until we show any sign of breaking this pivot, this market is bullish and this is very expected behavior from the market. Okay, so that's the first thing to understand. So one last thing before we zoom in here, guys, down here in the MACT, it is now more oversold than any time it has been since the COVID low. And that COVID low was a much bigger wave four, so you would expect it to be a much deeper MACD pullback. And this is a smaller wave four. So it is now more oversold than any time in between COVID and now, which is a good indicator that at the very minimum, a B wave rally is coming. That's right. I said B wave. Okay, guys, here we are on the hourly chart and I'm in between two paths. I don't really have a primary right now, but my primary expectation is for a bounce first and then a lower low. And the reason for that is if we look at the structure, I've been talking about this in all the videos, this is a three wave move down, three wave move up, five wave move down, which is a three, three, five. That's a corrective structure. Okay, so that's more typical of an A wave than a C wave. So if this is gonna be a full move down, it counts best with that whole move down being just wave three 
and then we would see a bounce in wave four and then down in wave five towards this 4300 area. So if that's the case, we would expect that bounce, let me move this down for one second here, we would expect that bounce to come up to the 382, which would be about 4547, and then another sell-off down towards 4300. So I do expect a bounce down here because of the oversold nature of the market. The question is going to be whether it's a bounce up to 4547 area and then a move down to this 4300 area to complete wave four, or if it's going to be a B wave bounce. Okay, let's move this back up to the top. Okay, and the B wave bounce would basically target 4663 to 4718. All right, and if we get up there and we get another 350 point move down, as you would expect, A equals C, that would put us also right at the 4300 region. So I think we're going to see 4300 eventually, even if it's a more direct move down, I think we're going to get a bounce towards 4540 first and then the move down in the wave five to complete, or we're going to get a bigger bounce in wave B. All right. So those are the two paths that I'm tracking. I don't think we're done with the down move yet. One other thing to note, if we are done with the down move, if we do have a reversal that is strong, you would want to see a clean five wave structure off of this low to start the move up. And that five wave structure should take us back up towards the all time highs. So if we see a clean five wave structure up and then we see a wave two down that holds support and we take out that wave one high, then it's very likely that this is the bottom where it stops, that we have started wave one of bigger wave five. However, I still think there's lower to go, but I also think there's a bounce first. So just to recap, guys, really quickly, the two main paths that we're tracking, we're tracking one more bounce, okay, and then down in five of C to complete at around 4,300, or a bigger bounce up in B towards 4,660 to 4,718, all right, and from there, a big sell off down to 4,300, or if we get a five wave structure up, we pull back and then take out that high, then it is much more likely that this bottom is in and wave one has begun. So that's what we're watching for tomorrow. I don't expect just a, a straight line down. Um, this sell-off is quite large. Everything is quite oversold. I do expect at least a relief rally up here to the 4570 region and then a sell-off from there. All right, guys, if you like the information that I put out in these videos and you want real-time market updates from me, you need to get in my Facebook group, okay? There's a link down in the description. Go ahead and click that link and it will take you over to Facebook. Now, once you get to Facebook, you do have to get approved to get into my Facebook group, but the only thing that I ask is that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. So hit that subscribe button down below, come on over to Facebook, and we'll get you in. And then once you get into Facebook, hit this featured button right here in the middle and scroll down. Once you do that, you will see a link to my documented trades. That's most of the trades we've do uh, done since we've been on the channel. I have a few that I need to update. And then scroll down just a little bit further and you'll see a link to my Slack channel. Now, Slack is just a free chat channel and I am on there all day during real time market hours, giving market updates, answering all of your questions and giving out my buy and sell alerts. It's an excellent group of traders from the very expert to the very beginner and an excellent place to learn or improve your trading. All right, guys, so come on over and let's make some money together. Okay, guys, key takeaways for today. We are watching to see how this plays out. I expect a bounce in either a wave four, five down, and or a bounce up to B and then C down. But before we see too much lower from here, I do expect a bounce. Now, if we see a five wave clean structure off the bottom that pulls back and then takes out that wave one high, then it's very likely we've started wave one of five up and the bottom is in. All right, guys, that is the market update for today. It is the weekend. Go out and enjoy yourself, enjoy your family, and I will talk to you next week.